give us the teaching of Marcos Chiave. family. Today we're about to talk about Henry Highland Garnett and his give me liberty or give me death speech. A lot of people call it the, um, it's been come to be known as the call to rebellion. But um, before we get started, I want to go through a couple definitions so we can discuss really why it was called that. So the act of rebellion <clears throat> is an act of re violent or open resistance to an established government or ruler. Now, true indeed, that's a very basic definition. But I want to draw your attention to another definition. The definition of liberty. The state of being free within society from oppressive restrictions imposed by authority on one's way of life, behavior, or political views. Now, that's, very more, that's much more specific to what uh, Brother Garnett was trying to get across. Although... Um, you know, I mean, he was, it was, there was a, a call to arm yourselves and, and defend yourselves. It wasn't about attacking, it was about defending and um, the state of being free. So, just real quick, um, what we were just listening to was a speech actually given by Patrick Henry in, um, 19, in 1775, all right, um, in Virginia. You know what I'm saying? This is the time when the British were actually coming. The war was there. And it is known as the give me liberty or give me death speech. Um, and it just struck me as odd that um, Henry Highland Garnett's speech in Buffalo, New York, was called the call to rebellion for some reason. So when looking through the different speeches, you find that Garnett never used the, speech, the word um, rebellion once, <clears throat> not once through the whole speech. You also find that he used the word liberty 11 times in his speech. And then when you look again for the word freedom, he used that word 11 times in his speech. So he never used the word rebellion. He was talking about freedom and liberty the whole time. Um, as a matter of fact, if you really take a look at the words of his speech, which we'll take a look at now, um, he actually started off by saying, tell your enslaver, enslavers, and tell them plainly that you are determined to be free. And tell them that they have no more right to oppress you than you have to enslave them. Right? I mean, that's true, right? It's wrong for your oppressors to keep you in slavery just as it was wrong for them to steal you from Africa. Right? And, and re remember that you were born here and tell them plainly. You know? And make sure you say it in words that they understand. You know? And if they refuse to, under to listen, you know, you let them know that we, we will no longer work for free. We're just not doing this anymore. It's over. You know, then he said, we're just going to stop working. We're just not doing this. So you see right here, and then nothing else will suffice. Do this. Oh, I'm, I apologize. Give me one second. Um, after you tell them that we, that freedom is not okay. Like, listen, we could even work on a compromise. Like, listen, we've been working these fields. We've been building this stuff. We could do that still. We can keep doing that, but you're going to have to pay us for it. It's no more the slavery business. Right? And if they continue the to cultivate the culture of death, right? Right? What do they say? If they commence the work of death, then they, not you, will be responsible for the consequences. Is 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 the oppressors that's wrong, not those that are oppressed is trying to free or liberate themselves. 
Um, and then he's, that's when he gets into, basically, we're going to stop, stop working for them for free. This is at the time when the slaves were still going on in the South, and he was calling, um, he was speaking directly to them at the convention here in Buffalo. Um, we know uh, Vine Street Church in Buffalo was a, a hub for black activity, uh, international black activity. And this was in, uh, in 1843 when Henry Highland Gardet came to give this speech, the call to liberty speech. We will no longer call it the call to rebellion. We will call it the call to liberty. Because as a matter of fact, we can call it the liberty of de or death speech. That's what we'll be calling it from now on. Because in the speech that Patrick Henry gave, he only said the term freedom twice. He said the word liberty five times. He only used the term liberty or death once. Henry Highland Garnett used that term three times while he was speaking. It's better to choose liberty or death. You got to make that decision. I mean, is it ready? Like Patrick Henry said at the end of his speech, like is, is, is peace and life so sweet that we're willing to sacrifice our own our own freedom are we willing to put ourselves in chains or accept chains and oppression in exchange for a peaceful comfortable life but that's not comfort like how we how is that comfort if you've been in change but this is what uh henry highland garnett um came to bring when he came to buffalo new york at the national negro convention um you can go in and take a look at some of his history as being a pastor and other things he had done through his life. He was an activist through his whole life. Um, but we, I just wanted to make sure we, we brought some attention to uh, black history that's little known. Um, the Bring some focus to the actual words of his speech and what he was, what he was teaching the people. What he was trying to do. He was speaking directly to the slaves. And saying basically, if, uh, I know a lot of you have seen that meme that's out with the Monopoly board. And his people bent down underneath it. And the, and the oppressors are play, playing the game over the top. And the words are, if we could just stand up, the game would be over. That's basically what Henry Highland Garnett came to say. Um, and Patrick Henry is, is, is hailed as a hero in American history um, because of that speech and how when the British came, you know, um, the soldiers here in America, the Minutemen, had embroidered the words liberty or death on their shirts. And and as we know as history um, tells us that America won their freedom. So we have to look at our heroes and wonder why we are not elevating our heroes, focusing on their messages, and then following through with their direction. There are reasons why this speech specifically was um, turned down and, and, and knocked down and not spoken about throughout history. We'll get into that um, later on in this series. But for right now, we want to big up the ancestor, uh, Henry Highland Garnett. Ashe to the Agungun. Peace to the power to the ancestors. And we're going to make sure we study in black history every day, not just um, during Black History Month. So peace and love. Like, comment, subscribe, and definitely share to your friends. Um, we're trying to make this big, folks. Teach the people. Unification is a must. Peace.